This is a 2000 BMW 528i. Um, it had a really odd problem with the uh, with the ABS braking system um, that I've been trying to diagnose. I finally figured out. Um, basically, what was happening is at speeds under 30 miles per hour, it would uh, the ABS pump would actually activate um, and pulse the brake pedal only in short bursts. So again, only under 30 miles per hour, slowing down to a stop, it would pulse probably five or six times, just very rapid, short bursts, um, which is very weird. I've never felt that before in any car. I've never experienced this before. I worked on a lot of these. Um, so my first thought was that the uh, ABS module was messed up. Uh, it's a very common thing in these cars. Um, however, everything was uh, uh, plugged in correctly. With the uh, module, um, and there were no codes at all. Uh, it didn't have the three brake lights, the brake, ABS, and uh, traction control light, um, and it had no codes at all when I scanned it with the scan tool. So again, this was good. The sensor back here was good. Um, so electrically, it, it seemed to be okay, um, but again, it still had this this weird pulsing problem, um, which it should, should definitely not do. Um, so the next step, I actually scanned it. Uh, while I was driving it, um, and I took a look at the wheel speed sensors, um, and it turned out that one wheel speed sensor was getting a weird fluctuation um, in uh, RPM, basically. So that drove me to that wheel. It was the right rear wheel. I ended up taking the the hub apart, and. Um, I took the sensor out. The sensor was nice and clean. The sensor looked good. It's actually this side that scans. Is this side right here that that reads the uh, the stator? No damage on that. It was nice and clean. Um, then I turned my attention to the actual stator, which is located on the wheel bearing. Um, this is actually the new bearing, but let me show you what happened with the old bearing. There's actually just a tiny amount of damage on the stator. This is the old wheel bearing that was in the car, and that little dent right there is what was causing the fluctuation. Basically, the sensor thought that the wheel was locking up on just this portion as it was scanning around and around. Every time it would get to this part, it would activate the ABS pump because the sensor would lose communication with the uh, with the stator at this time, and it would activate the pump because it was thinking again that the, the wheel was locking up. So, um, very weird problem. I don't even know how anything would get inside there to damage to damage that thing. Because as you can see, the the hub covers the stator nicely, and that little gap there is where the sensor goes. So it really makes no sense to me how something got in there and damaged it, but I guess it happened. And uh, it was a good learning experience, at least. Um, it, was, it was definitely a little bit tougher than I was expecting to track down. Um, so hopefully this will save you a little bit of time. If you did get that pulsing sensation, uh, basically every time the wheel goes around, the, the pedal would pulse. Um, if you did get that, scan the wheel. The, uh, the wheel ABS sensors, um, and see which one isn't isn't reading consistently. That's probably the one that you got. All right, good luck.